the Xerox Adaptive CMYK Plus Kit lets you add high value enhancements to any design project easily and cost effectively. With 11 available toner colors, you can create a million possibilities. This video features the Fluorescent Toner Kit, which contains fluorescent cyan, fluorescent magenta, and fluorescent yellow, along with your existing black. These colors will be used to create a range of eye-catching specialty effects in only a few steps. When designing for this technology, it is important to understand that standard CMYK and fluorescence can't be printed at the same time. You can blend the three fluorescent toners to create eye-catching palettes that go far beyond fluorescent cyan, magenta, and yellow. Creating blended fluorescent colors is easy. While any process color will print with the fluorescent toners, here are some recommended and tested mixes that provide maximum pop. Blend 2% fluorescent cyan, 63% fluorescent magenta, and 65% fluorescent yellow to create hot orange. Blend 85% cyan, 5% magenta, and 60% yellow to create bright teal. Blend 35% cyan, 66% magenta, 1% yellow, and 9% black to create popping purple. Create lime green with a blend of 60% cyan, 2% magenta, and 86% yellow. Let's use one of these blends to create a business card sure to attract attention. Let's assume you already have a design. Start by opening your file. We're using Adobe Illustrator here, but the same concepts apply when using Adobe InDesign. First, you'll need to define your colors according to the formulas provided in this video, or experiment to create your own. We're going to use Lime Green. On the swatch palette, open a new swatch. Rename your swatch to Lime Green and enter the following percentages, 60% Cyan, 2% Magenta, and 86% yellow. Then select the objects you want to fill. Keep in mind that what you see on the screen will not look the same as the actual printed fluorescent design. It may be necessary to collaborate with your print provider to fine tune your fluorescent creations. That's all there is to it. Regardless of job type, there are specific PDF settings you'll need to adjust before saving. Under Adobe PDF Preset, select Press Quality. On the Compression tab, ensure all image types are set to Do Not Downsample. And under Output, there should be No Color Conversion and the Profile Inclusion Policy should be set to include all RGB and tagged sources. Lastly, under Advanced, Make sure to note subset fonts when the percent of characters used is less than 100%. Then click Save PDF. Remember to let your print provider know you've designed for the fluorescent kit and ask for a proof to ensure your job prints as expected. Be sure to review the Adaptive CMYK Plus Kit graphic design and file preparation guidelines for more ideas, tips, and detailed instructions on how to use this exclusive technology to add sparkle and glow to your designs. For more how-to videos, go to xerox.com creative.